Let's balance the equation for the combustion of glucose. That's C6H12O6 plus O2. This is a combustion reaction. It's an organic combustion reaction because you have carbons, hydrogens, and there's some oxygen in here. And we're adding that, we're reacting it with O2, oxygen gas. The products, carbon dioxide in water. So this is a combustion reaction. Let's balance the equation. So I've counted the atoms up. Do be careful. We have oxygen atoms here and here in the reactants. Then in the products, we have two here and then the one with the water. Two plus one, that gives us three. So make sure you count the oxygen atoms up correctly. When we balance combustion reactions, we leave the O2 until last. That's because when we change the coefficient in front of the O2, it doesn't change the number of carbons or hydrogens. So we'll leave oxygen until last. Let's start by putting a six in front of the CO2. One times six, that'll balance the carbon atoms. The six goes to everything here though. So we need to update the oxygens. Six times two is 12. Plus, we have the one here in water. So we have 13 oxygen atoms. Let's update the hydrogens. Looks like if we put a six as our coefficient, two times six, that gives us 12. But we do need to update the oxygens again. So six times two, that's 12, plus six times the one here, that's six. So we have 18 oxygen atoms. So what's difficult is we have oxygens here and here. So what should we change? It's best to work with the O2 since it's all by itself. Think of it this way. We have six plus some number. That's going to equal 18, and that would balance the equation. So six plus 12, that equals 18. So if we put a six in front of the oxygen, we have our six here plus two times six, that's 12. That gives us 18, and we're done. This equation is balanced. If you need to know the states for this combustion reaction, they look like this. Note that the glucose, that's a solid, and the water here, that's gonna be a gas as well. Combustion reactions, they're exothermic, they're hot. So we have water, it's gonna be a gas, at least initially. This is Dr. V with the equation for the combustion of glucose, C6H12O6 plus O2. Thanks for watching.